In his early years, Daniel took his education very seriously and always made sure that he got his homework done on time. Despite his latter-day rebellious persona, he was something of a swat at school, determined to get all the qualifications he needed in later life and pass his exams. That's not to say that he didn't get up to any pranks. Who doesn't? On one occasion, he and a mate were smoking in a secluded part of school and nearly burned down the gym. Daniel was very nearly expelled another time because he put a load of sharp objects in a pencil case, threw it to a mate as a lark and hit a teacher. Unfortunately, there was a compass point sticking out of the case and it stuck her right in the forehead. It was while attending a private school that Danny heard his first blast of metal music. For some weird reason, the young Daniel Davey had originally become totally obsessed with the music of 80s pop icons Ultravox. However, when a friend gave him a compilation tape featuring bands like Iron Maiden, Exodus and Stormwitch, he was completely bowled over with what he heard. There were just the two of them at the school into metal music, which made him stand out a bit from the crowd. But when he left and went on to secondary school, it seemed that just about everybody was into hard rock music. One thing led to another, and by the time he was 13 years of age, Danny was well into the skateboard scene and had become an extreme death metal fan, listening to the likes of Carcass, Gangrene and The Circle Jerks. He was also at an age where he was exploring and getting into sex. When he was 15, Danny decided to get his nose pierced and also began experimenting with a variety of soft drugs, such as pot and magic mushrooms. While he vigorously pursued his studies, Daniel received £20 a week pocket money from his parents, plus whatever he was making from a Saturday job, even though many of his mates who'd now left school were getting much more money than him just by being on the dole. In true rock and roll tradition, he would go out and let his hair down, blowing the lot on booze and having a good time, as most teenagers do. Hedonism was the order of the day for Danny. He also got into throwing the tarot cards and using Ouija boards. Then he took proceedings one step further and got deeply involved in a magic circle where he learned about various black magic rituals. Little did he know at the time, but Daniel was set to cast his own magical spell over the metal world. It was about this time that he decided to shorten his name to Danny because Daniel in Hebrew means judgment of God, while Danny means bereft of God. <laughs> 